This is a list of animals. Let us classify these animals. I'll be giving you 10 seconds. You may be classifying some are on land, some are on water, or maybe some belongs to cat family, this lion, tiger and cat, others are not, or maybe some are domestic, wild and sea animals. So there are many possibilities to classify this group of animals. So what we did was grouping of organisms based on similarities and differences. So we can define classification as the systematic grouping of organisms based on their similarities and differences or shared common characters. In this video, we'll be discussing what is classification and three types of classification, artificial, natural and phylogenetic classification in biology. Let's begin with some example to understand these three classification. First one is artificial classification. Theophrastus classified plants into tree, shrub and herb. So this is called as artificial classification as this classification takes into account easily observable character characteristics that is the height of the plant or habit of the plant. Let us take one more example. Carlos Linnaeus classified angiosperms or flowering plants based on the number and arrangement of stamens. As you see here, this is diantria, this is triantria. Based on the number of stamens, he classified flowering plants into 24 groups. Only one character is considered for classification. Let's take one more to make it clear. Aristotle classified animals into with blood, this group with blood and without blood. A single character is considered for classification. So this type of classification is called as artificial classification, where one or two characters or easily observable characters are considered for classification. The problem with this classification is this may not reflect the evolutionary relationship between organisms. Distant species may be placed in a common group. This cow and duck are unrelated organisms but placed together in this classification. Now let us see natural classification. Classical example is Bentham and Hooker's classification system that classified plants into 202 families and approximately 7500 genera a vast classification system that uses these characteristics based on cotyledon, monocots and dicots, then leaf structure is considered, anatomy is also considered, then floral characteristics is also considered. So in this classification system, many maximum number of characters, morphology and anatomical characters are considered for classification. Such a system is called as natural classification. Let me make it more clear. This is a flower. In that flower, even this three, if there are five floral parts, it is called as pentamerous. If there are three, then it is called as trimerous. Then number of stamens, type of ovary, everything is considered for classification. Then venation is also considered whether it is reticulate, whether it is dichotomous, whether it is parallel. All these characters are considered for classification. That makes a natural classification. In natural classification, classification based on many observable morphological, anatomical or even embryological characters are considered for classification. This classification system shows evolutionary relationship between among organisms to some extent. And the third type of classification, the modern classification system, which is called as phylogenetic classification system. Classical example is APG4 system that is updated in 2016. APG stands for angiosperm phylogeny group. This classification is based on molecular data or analysis of DNA sequences from multiple genes. Suppose gene 1, gene 2, gene 3 and gene 4. Sequence analysis provide insight to genetic relationship among different plant groups. As this is the molecular data is a true heritable trait, this helps to make a more reliable classification that reflects evolutionary relationship, reflects evolutionary lineage and common ancestry. So this is one of the example. You can see there is a common ancestry and the groups are arranged like this. Monocots, eudicots, etc. So APG system classified angiosperms into 64 major clades that reflects evolutionary lineage and common ancestry. The same system is also followed in the case of animals also. This is also from a DNA sequence data classification of animals based on molecular data. Now let us sum up the difference between artificial, natural and phylogenetic classification. 
Artificial classification is grouping of organisms based on few easily observable traits. Whereas natural classification is based on overall similarities or several characters are considered like morphological characters, anatomy, cytology, genetics, etc. Whereas phylogenetic classification, the grouping is based on evolutionary ancestry and genetic relationship and primarily focusing on molecular data. Artificial classification examples include the classification of plants into herbs, shrubs and trees by Theophrastus, then Linnaeus classification, then Aristotle classification of animals. Natural classification, that is Bendemann Hooker classification, but primarily focused on morphology, whereas Adanson classification is there, then decontrol classification is there, all focusing on morphology and other different aspects like anatomy, embryology, etc. And phylogenetic classification system uses molecular data. Examples include APG4 system, then Engler and Prandtl classification, Hutchinson classification, etc. Artificial classification, the selection, random selection of unifying characteristics. Easily observable traits are considered for classification. It is a random choice. Whereas natural classification, overall similarities between organisms are taken into account. Maximum number of characters are considered for classification that may reflect evolutionary relationships. Whereas phylogenetic classification, evolutionary ancestry and genetic relationships are considered. The advantage of artificial classification is, is it, it is very easy and it is very rigid and easy to develop without much sophistication or knowledge. Whereas natural classification, it is classifying organisms based on similarities. It is widely used and widely accepted because of its practical convenience, even can be done in a laboratory without much sophistication, shows evolutionary relationships to some extent as many characters are considered for classification. Whereas phylogenetic classification, it depicts genetic relationships and the modern system of classification helps in prediction of characteristics in related species in understanding biodiversity and comparative biology. And these are all advantages of phylogenetic classification system. The disadvantages is artificial classification does not show evolutionary relationships. Distant groups may be placed together. Whereas natural classification, many closely related species are grouped separately. In the case of plants, Liliaceae and Amaryllidaceae Families are closely related but are classified separately in Bendemein Hooker system of classification. It is an artificial grouping to some extent, even though it shows evolutionary relationships to some extent. Phylogenetic classification, the major difficulty is it's very difficult to obtain and analyze molecular data of all species. Sophistication is required. DNA sequencing is required. Difficult to incorporate extinct species known only from fossil record. So there are many limitations. DNA should be isolated and sequenced. It is only a sophisticated laboratory can handle phylogenetic system of classification. So the most common and widely used system of classification is natural classification system, whereas the most modern classification that truly reflects evolutionary relationship is phylogenetic classification system. Hope you understand the difference between artificial, natural and phylogenetic classification system. Take care. Stay blessed. Thank you so much. You are with biologyexamsfury.com.